one week ago, we didn't really know anything about Mauritius. And now, we're at the airport and a very long overnight flight away from starting a three-week road trip across the whole island. And we're really excited. Of course, we'd heard about Mauritius as a very popular holiday and honeymoon destination owing to its many beaches and year-round warm weather. And to us, that also sounded like a good reason to go. But we also wanted to make sure that we get the big picture of Mauritius and its culture and cuisine. So this is Mauritius, an African island in the Indian Ocean, located next to Madagascar, which is located next to the rest of Africa. And in the next three weeks, we'll be going on the ultimate Mauritius road trip. We'll try to get a good overview of the whole island and work our way from the south to the west coast then into the north and, finally, to the east of the island. We are notoriously bad at overnight flights. I think this is going to be a challenge of who's going to sleep less on this flight, or to put it on a more positive note, who can sleep more. For me, I think two to three hours would be ideal. Mm -hmm. What are you aiming for? I actually still have a little cold as well, so I think, <laughs> um, yeah, two hours would be the goal. Solid goal, <laughs> solid goal. But tomorrow will be in 30 degrees weather, and warm we, we sunshine. We can sleep at the beach, it's no problem. Exactly. I love the sound of the words boarding completed when the middle seat is so free. The flight is going super smoothly so far. We've got a nice movie to watch. The food is really good. And no turbulence so far. I hate turbulence, so that's a really, really big plus. We're gonna have this nice dinner now and afterwards just try to go to sleep. Let's see how that goes. Well, good night. Okay, stop number one of eight on this road trip. We're tired, very tired. We're running on about one to three hours of sleep and luckily we've got these hammocks to spend some time in. Hello, anybody home? Where am I? How did we get here? <laughs> I'm trying not to fall asleep, um, more or less um, successfully. I'm sleeping right now. <laughs> more or less successfully. <laughs> Should I give you a few pushes so, you know, <laughs> does that help or is that um, probably not? No, it doesn't help. Mm. I think it makes me feel like a baby and it's big. Quick room tour. This is our bed. Bed number one. <laughs> this, bed number two. And this is bed number three. I think we had to book the family room because everything else was booked out and this was the only <laughs> affordable guest house. <laughs> I think it's perfect. Yeah, it's nice. If we, you know, want to change beds in the middle of the night, we can do that. Artwork, um, some dodos, the national symbol, bird and mascot and I don't know if you should call it the mascot of Mauritius, but here are two. Mosquito netting. Nice. Power fan. Looks powerful. And then our balcony overlooking the whole property. This is, this is really nice. We can even see the sea and the pool and our car. Finally! And this is our ride for the next three weeks. <laughs> is that your favorite part of the car? <laughs> I mean, it's quite important, isn't it? <laughs> it is. <laughs> Whew, it is warm and it's day 
number one. I mean the real day number one, not yesterday. And I think we're feeling much better now, fresh. And you know, I wouldn't consider us to be wide awake, but we're getting there. We had about 10 hours of sleep, yeah. or at least lying in, in bed. I think and, we should be awake uh, by now. And we also had a nice coffee, so we should be awake. Maybe a little bit jet lag, but it's only three hours time difference, so it should be fine. Yeah, we can't really blame we the jet lag really on that one. We don't really have an excuse, yeah. <laughs> so first day of our road trip, Here's our plan. This is Mauritius. We are right here at Le Bouchon. And our final destination for today is way over here in the Le Mans area in La Golette. We'll make a stop in this place called Suyac and just see where the day takes us. So we can technically do some carpool karaoke for you, mm. uh, maybe we shouldn't, especially because I'm still a little bit <clears throat> sick. It also looks a bit like we're filming driving lessons and you're the instructor <laughs> and... <laughs> I'm like the opposite of the instructor in real world. I can't you're even the... navigate. <laughs> probably looks like we have a dash cam to them. I know, it's good probably. <laughs> Maybe. We do technically have a dash cam but it's facing the wrong way so if we do have an accident... <laughs> we can show the police our reaction. <laughs> yeah, you can see in our eyes that it was that totally... not guilty. <laughs> it was totally unexpected. <laughs> This is Suyak now, let's see if we can find some food. So one fact we were surprised to learn is that about 68% of the population here on Mauritius is of Indian origin, which also means you can find a lot of Indian food here. And of course, we love Indian food and we have to try it here. So the first thing that we searched for is an Indian restaurant. And here in Suyak, we found Kashmiri taste, which sounded Indian and it does also say on the sign Indian and local cuisine. Just to be like, just to tell the whole story, uh, where's the rest of the population from? Simon. This might be a good time for a quick history lesson. Mauritius is one of the few countries in the world that was settled from scratch. This means that there are no indigenous people and its population all have their roots in other countries. After the island was first discovered by the Portuguese, the island was settled by the Dutch and then later colonized by the French and the British, as the island was considered very valuable due to its resources and location as a stopover for seafarers to Asia. During this time of colonization, many slaves from other African countries were brought to the island to work on sugarcane plantations. After slavery was abolished on the island in the 19th century, the British then also brought a lot of laborers from India onto the island. Additionally, merchants from China also made their way to Mauritius. In 1968, Mauritius finally gained independence. As you can imagine, this brutal history of colonization led to Mauritius' population, culture and cuisine to be very diverse. This mix is now what defines Mauritius and its own Creole culture. Mm. The biryani is really good. The chicken is really soft and tender. And the rice is very, very fragrant and packed with spices. Let's also try this paratha. Um, I think they call it parata here. It's also not filled, it's just a, a plain one. Um, but it looks really good, like it has a lot of layers. Mm -hmm. This also goes really nicely with the chicken curry. So good to have Indian food here. I really didn't know that this was a thing on Mauritius. I mean, I think we would have come here earlier. <laughs> We've got some bread, curry, chili. I mean, what more do we need? So good. <laughs> what more do we need to look really ridiculous on camera? Perfect. I mean, you always blame it on the food, but a parata is actually not too hard no, to eat. No, sorry. It's the food. It's definitely... It's not me. Sure. Ah. <laughs> so this is Gris Gris Beach or Gris Gris Beach? I don't know how do you say it Probably Gris Gris. Or Gris Gris. Yeah, okay. Actually, I have no idea. 
it's definitely a nice beach um, the sea is very rough here and I think that's also what it's known for there's also this massive rock in the water here where the, the water just splashes and creates a big spectacle of nature <laughs> <laughs> You've got a nice view from here. Yeah, you can park here, you can have a nice view and also go down to the beach. I don't think we're going to do that right now because I don't think this beach is ideal for swimming. Um, but we're going to go to another beach after where we're also going to get into the water. Quick hot car review. How hot is it on a scale of 1 to 10? 10, 10 being scorching hot, hotter than the sun. 11? Hotter than Okay, I mean you've been sitting in here for a while while I was setting up the camera, so yeah. how are you rating um, your experience? Is it enjoyable? Is it good? It's horrible. Okay. Um, and I would ask you to start driving now. Okay. Um, Thanks. No, 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 that was... No, yeah, good. So here's a tip. Leave some coke in a warm car and you've got mulled coke. Delicious. It brings out the flavors in the coke. Great life hack. I can taste some cardamom and cinnamon. It's not even a coke, it's a Pepsi. <laughs> you get the point. <laughs> okay, this beach looks busy. It's the weekend and on the weekend everyone comes out to party or picnic, which is basically the same here, I think. Mm. It's got a really local feel to it. Maybe maybe we can join them. The uh, grab a bite to eat, <laughs> sing, dance. <laughs> this is Saint Felix Beach. I hope I'm saying that right. I mean, the song was probably right, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, Felix is also, I, I guess. Saint okay. <laughs> Um, and it looks like a very local beach. <laughs> it's a really nice atmosphere here. Yeah. The locals are partying and the water is really nice here as well. It's a bit lighter, a light, light-ish blue. Sorry, I need to overtake. Operation starting now. Full speed ahead! Yep, got it done, got it done. Okay, cool. Ooh, we see Le Monde. Oh, Le Monde, maybe we'll have to stop Le Monde. here. Yeah, should we stop here? Uh, oh, the GoPro tilted to the left. I think it's a good time to stop now. Yeah. Okay. okay, this is Le Monde, the reason why we stopped. It's the very famous mountain here on Mauritius. You can climb up Le Monde and you can take a picture of Le Monde, which is what we're going to do. And actually, there's a beach here and somebody landed their water plane. Is it called a water plane? Or well, somebody landed their plane on the water and they're doing the a little... The ones that land on the water. Yeah, and they're doing a little photo shoot. What a nice view. This is not Le Mans Beach though, not to like... Yeah, no, this is just... <laughs> confuse you. <laughs> here it is. And that's the plane in the water. Could be a wedding, I don't know, or at least wedding pictures. Good setting. All right, just a quick stop. Let's continue. Let's go to Le Mans Beach. And chill. And finally chill. <laughs> For Actually, once. It's been quite the exhausting <laughs> I mean, we didn't come here to Mauritius to only look at beaches for five seconds and then leave. Yeah. We let's, also have to enjoy some beaches. Let's get into the water. Woo! What? Wait a second. I think we've gone too far. <laughs> so what's important is never trust Google Maps on Mauritius. <laughs> we've been driving through so many little villages <laughs> and also we um, went into dead ends quite a lot and we've only been here for two days. I think in my whole life I haven't been in this many dead ends. It's interesting driving through these local villages. Um, it's they're very nice to look at. But, Sightseeing. But still, it would be a lot quicker if we just took the main road, maybe. Just yeah, like... just stick to the main road and always follow the signs. Yeah, because think... the signs are accurate, Google Maps is not accurate. Yeah, I'm already really excited to see what the other parts of the island are like. Because now we've been in the south, 
for these two days and it feels very local. Um, food is cheap, um, nobody asks you for money if you park somewhere or I don't know, also accommodations are quite affordable. And then I think in the north, for example, it's going to be very touristy. And I'm just very interested to see what the differences are like. Uh, whether it is that different or not. And now, now's my time. Now's my time. Uh -oh. Go, 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 oh, go, go, go. Be careful. This is what 50% of our time on the road looks like. <laughs> I'm just overly frightened. <laughs> Simon is doing his maneuvers. Sometimes in life you just gotta, you know, do the maneuver. No risk, no fun. Watch out for these people. Yeah. Look at this beauty. <laughs> we bought this thing quite a few years ago and we barely used it. But now we brought it with us. And it's doing its job. It was so worth it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess we can use that a couple of times here. Yeah. yeah. Um, because I'm yeah. quite proud of us that we managed to build it up so nicely. The beaches are beautiful, but they do lack some shade most of the time. And now we've got a beautiful shady area here. Beautiful. Total sun protection. I'll never leave this spot. My delicate skin will thank me later. We can still see the water, it's crystal clear, but we're protected. And that's the most important part in life. Oh, it's always getting changed. <laughs> in our tent. <laughs> in our little tent. It's a half tent. Good enough. Ready for a well-deserved swim? Yes! Really, I can't wait to run into the water. Okay, <laughs> well, let's see how cold it is first. <laughs> By the way, does my bathing suit look like the one of a four-year-old? Mm, no, looks good. now in our next apartment that we have for the next three days. Let us show you. Okay, I didn't expect this, especially because this room wasn't even that expensive, but I think this is one of the nicest views we've ever had from one of our rooms. Let's, let's have a look. This is like the symbol of Mauritius. The Le Mont Brabant. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Le Mont Brabant. And it's right, well, it's right there. You can see it from our balcony. Also, there is this island here. The okay, I don't read I re write it here below me. <laughs> we basically have two balconies. I mean, they're connected, but we have two doors that lead out of the bedroom, bedroom slash kitchen. And there's also a rooftop. That's With the best barbecue. part. Yes. And we're here just in time for sunset. We didn't really plan this. This is just how, well, maybe we did plan it subconsciously because. We had a feeling. We, we had a feeling that. From the beach. <laughs> maybe we have a balcony with the perfect view of the sunset. <laughs> <laughs> the sun is now slowly appearing again from behind some clouds and making its final descent behind the horizon. So anyway, I think this is the perfect base for the next three days and we'll see you in the next video.